Hey everybody, I'm out and about this morning, but I've just been listening uh, and studying the daily portion of the day, which is Job uh, chapter 15 through uh, chapter 18, verse 21. And, and the verses that really jumped out to me were in, in chapter 16. You know, Job's in a really bad way. Uh, he's lost everything. He's hurting. He wants answers. He doesn't understand. He's lacking perspective. His friends aren't comforting him. Uh, and he makes a confession where he says, I need, I need someone to mediate for me. Uh, this is chapter 16, around verse 18, 19, uh, through about 21, uh, verse 21. He says, I need someone to go between me and the Lord and, and defend me and advocate for me. And I love this part of, of the book of Job because he, he's making a confession that, that really is a statement for all humanity. You know, there's no such thing as innocence, right? David uh, says in the Psalms, in iniquity I was conceived. And we know from the fall in the Garden of, of Eden, uh, it, we are we're, all humanity is going to die. It's a death sentence. Sin is a death sentence. The wages of sin is death. Uh, and so none of us are innocent. We're all guilty before God. And we do need a mediator. We do need an advocate. And praise God for Christ. Uh, Jesus came. He died for us. And he lives to make intercession for us. He's our mediator. And so here Job is touching uh, an eternal truth and, and a desperate need in the heart of every human being. Is, uh, you know, we are, this, this age is passing away. We are passing away. And we need uh, that mediator, the blood of Jesus, to come between us and the wrath and the penalty for our sins that we all that we all deserve. We all deserve to be judged, and we all deserve the wrath of God. But it was the blood of Christ uh, poured out once for all that makes the intercession, that uh, provides the mercy and the substitution, the propitiation for our sin before a righteous God that allows us to have righteous standing. It's not on our actions that we stand or the merit of our own uh, works, but on the on Christ's righteousness alone. And so, uh, you know, a great companion, uh, you know, book in the Bible, if you want to read to draw more on this truth, is in the letter letter to the to the Hebrews, uh, where Christ's role as the high priest is highlighted there. Um, and his, his work as the mediator of the new covenant is described in detail. And so if you want to dig a little bit more and go a little bit deeper, we're going to get to Hebrews obviously later this year and we'll dive in there. But uh, as I'm thinking about what Job is crying out from this place of my life is, uh, is a wreck, I'm a mess, I need somebody, anybody, I need an advocate to stand between me and the Lord. Uh, and praise praise God for Jesus Christ, our advocate, our mediator. And so uh, if you want to dig a little bit more, Book of Hebrews, we'll talk about his role as high priest and, and the mediator of the new covenant, ratified by his blood, his pure, spotless, precious blood that was poured out for humanity so that whosoever will believe in him will be saved and come into eternal life. And so God bless you all. Hope you're enjoying uh, our journey through the scriptures. And it's so rich and so deep. Uh, and the book of Job shows us uh, not only the plight of suffering and the pain of the human experience, um, but also the comfort that our God provides us as we walk through this life and lean on uh, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. God bless you all. Have a great weekend.